Hello, brothers and sisters. My name is Steve Taylor, and I'm proud to be here and proud to be a member of SCIU 32 BJ. Well, I'm glad to join all of you here today. I am a public worker in the uh, New Kensington Auto School District from Western Pennsylvania. And I am a proud father of two daughters, one that graduated, one that currently a junior, and proud to have two grandchildren serving in the public school system. Yeah. Over the past few weeks, they have announced in our district that nearly over 23 staff members have been cut. Teachers, custodians, cafeteria, special education. Staff that makes our school great and makes it operate. Allentown's losing 240. We have the first impact on our early learners. We live in America where it is said that everyone has a free right and the ability to learn the best that they can. No, we have don't. to give them the opportunity to do it. Yes. Yes. The community I live in is below the property line. Buildings are being torn down every day. Small businesses are moving out to the bigger malls. And yes, I am the one that drove to try to have to shop at, at the uh, grocery stores that do not pay their fair share in taxes. Yeah. I have no choice. That ain't right. The attention needs to be given to these children at an early age. And I, even though I am the one that's, that provides the safety and, and, and the cleanliness of the buildings for the kids. I'm not a teacher, but I know that my child needs that development at an early age, especially coming from a, a poverty uh, municipality, that they need that early start. And now we're cutting the kindergarten. That ain't right. It will also take us back in progress. Our schools, since 2006, made the AYP. That means every year for two years consistently in a row that our great teachers and our great staff support in that school have moved these teachers and, and the mandated testing that the state makes us uh, provides us to do and they moved them every year up until the current 2010 school year. But now they're going to rip that right from under us. They're going to rip the carpet right from underneath of us because now they're going to cut and make the class sizes bigger. As school employees, we agreed to do our part. We've, I've taken, and my, my co uh, co-workers have taken a two-year freeze. We know what it is to sacrifice. We know what it is to put in for our district and do what it takes as a community, as a, as a to do to make it work. Now what we're doing, we're coming here and I stand with you and we ask the people that operates in the building behind us to stand with us and do what it takes to save our kids. Yeah. A moment that my family and my community are facing cuts in education while gas companies of Michelle and Shell are getting a tax break. They're not paying one day! We are always here for politicians that education comes first. And I agree with that. But education, preparing for the next generation, is the first to go! No, it won't. It does not have to be this way. Gas companies are making billions of dollars of natural resources they're getting from our land, from the state that we live in. And they have an obligation to pay their fair share of taxes. And they have an obligation to educate our children. That's why I'm here today, to make sure that the companies that profit and Pennsylvania, it's time for them to do their part and pay their fair share. If we do not show that we're asking all to stick together and fight for the future of our state, for the, 
uh, that are being steamrolled and bullied by the companies and the politicians that they bankroll. Most of the politicians they bankroll. Because I have a lot of faith in my politicians that the ones that are there are going to do the right thing. And the ones that are standing behind me are advocating to do the right thing for the state of Pennsylvania. here guys before that budget is passed and June and July gets here I, I have one thing I want you guys to join with me I want you to go through your communities and tell them we are not the ones the working people are not the ones that broke this economy we are, we are standing here and we are willing to fix it but we need the help of them and every other single American uh, and to protect them, their jobs, their children, and the children's education. Thank you. Yeah.